Hey Omis, welcome to Om Yoga with Mary O'Meara's 30 day yoga challenge, Awaken the Power Within. Today is day 29. This is our last flow of this challenge. I can't believe it. All right, we're gonna be doing a 30 minute class that's kind of like a mix up, mash up of everything we've done over the month. Picking out kind of the favorite things, adding in a few fun things. We're gonna be utilizing the essential oil frankincense. Don't worry about it if you don't have it. Utilizing a block. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications button so you get all the good stuff when it comes out and connect with me outside of YouTube on Instagram at Mary underscore Omira underscore. You can also also get my monthly newsletter at www.essentiallyom.com. All right, Omis, remember, comment every day if you want the amazing oily giveaway. Other than that, let's get to yoga. All right, yogis, let's begin with the application of our oil if we have it, good old frankincense. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. We're gonna just start seated in a nice, comfortable position. You can have a seat on your block if you wish. I tried to do like a rainbow outfit. I just couldn't fit it all on, so I went ahead and just went with the roots. <laughs> all right, let's take our hands to our thighs, close the eyes. We're only gonna be here for a little bit because we have a 30 minute class. We gotta get it in. All right, take the shoulders over the hips, close the eyes if you're comfortable. Palms can face down to ground the energy in. Palms face up if you want to invite in the energy. For those of you who have your oils, go ahead and take your wrists to your nose to take a few deep inhales and exhales. And begin to focus deeper on the breath. Part of the reason why I went with red is because to me, red is my power color. And this challenge was all about awakening our power within whatever color, whatever it may be. And our roots allow us to stand strong in who we are. And you all have definitely rooted in and grown taller and brighter in who you are. I just want to take this moment here before we begin to offer gratitude. I offer my gratitude to each and every one of you for participating in this challenge with me. I offer gratitude to you for being a part of my community and being an Omi with me. And let's connect in with our breath. Big exhale out through the mouth. Inhale in through the nose. Audible exhale out. Again, inhale through the nose, deep into the belly. Big breath out. Last one, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Seal your lips, let the breath move in and out through the nose again. We're going to slowly begin to open the eyes, bring our awareness back into the body. And then we're going to, if you have a block, go ahead and remove it. We're going to come into a nice, gentle stretch for the side of the body. Just go ahead and take your hands down by your sides. We're going to inhale now, sweep both arms up, and then we're going to exhale right hand down as we reach the left arm up and over. Think about length through the crown of your head. And then remember, I talked about this the other day, I think it was in our 60 minute, how we're going to start to really reach the arms out of the sockets when we're reaching up over the head. Okay. So I want us to do that. Reach the arm up. You may have this natural tendency to draw it down. I'm still in the same place. It's fine. Now we're going to inhale through center, left hand comes to the ground as the right arm reaches up and over. Pull the belly in, feel the connection to the roots, reach the arm up and out. Now we're going to inhale, come back through center. Now we're going to twist, but you're going to take your right arm, just kidding, your left arm up. And you're going to exhale, take your left hand to the right knee, lift up through the crown of the head, and then you're going to exhale looking over. Okay. So we just worked our roots as we sat and stretched. Now we're getting into our 
solar, but we're also in the hips, right? I'm not going to explain all of how we're in all of the chakras today. We're going to inhale, come through center. Go ahead and take both arms up. And then we're going to exhale left hand to the ground as the right arm comes over to the left leg. Lengthen through the crown of the head and then gently begin to twist. Reaching up and out, yet feeling very connected. Okay, now we're going to come back to center. We're going to find our way into our tabletop pose. Knees are going to be underneath the hips. Wrists are going to be underneath the shoulders. We're going to pull the belly in, lengthen through the crown of the head. I actually don't remember whether or not we did this throughout the practice, but you know what? We're going to do it today. And the reason being, because it's a rainbow and that's what the chakras are. <laughs> From your tabletop, lengthen through the crown of the head, tailbone to the back. Inhale, extend your right leg back behind you. Now as you exhale, you're gonna take your right leg over to the right. Maybe don't take it very far, right? Because normally when we do this, we're pretty warmed up, but it's the beginning. Now we're gonna inhale, come back through center. We're gonna exhale, take it over to the left. This is our rainbow that we're creating. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale left. Center, breathe in, right, breathe out. Center, left, center, stay here. Exhale, right knee to the floor. We're gonna inhale, extend the left leg back. Now we're gonna exhale, left leg to the left. Again, take it to the side, you can take it to the back. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. I'm gonna kick my boot up. We're gonna inhale, come through center, exhale, come to the left. Inhale, center, exhale right. Inhale, center, exhale left. Center, right, center, left, center, back to our table. Go ahead and tuck your toes here. Take an inhale. We're gonna exhale, press up and back into our downward facing dog. We're gonna take some time pedaling out the legs here. The legs should feel a nice little stretch from the rainbow that we just did. And think about it. How stretched do you feel after working your way through the chakras into your rainbow? Paddle it out. Keep breathing. Is anybody else kind of sad that this is coming to an end? <laughs> Even though my schedule with filming, I'm like, oh my goodness, kind of a relief. But then at the same time, I'm like, oh, I'm going to miss the daily stuff, but it's all good. It's all good, Omis. We'll have more. Okay, back into our downward facing dog. We're going to inhale, look towards the top of our mat. We're going to exhale, step our feet together, big toes to touch. Okay, we're going to inhale, come into our halfway lift. Now we're going to exhale, release into the ra our ragdoll. Take your feet hip distance apart here. Nice deep bend. Allow the head to hang heavy. Again, I want us to think about our roots, our feet. Energy comes up the legs, comes into the hips, our sacral, our belly rests on our thighs, our solar, our heart is melting, our heart, <laughs> our head, rather our neck is nice and released as the head dangles, that's our throat and our crown. Go ahead and toe heel your feet together here. Now we're going to come back into our halfway lift, hands to shins here. And we're going to exhale to fold. Keep the bend in the knees. We're going to inhale, slowly rise to stand. Come up. Belly is strong. Shoulders back and down as you come to the top. Exhale out. Then we're going to inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms to the sky, palms face one another. Again, lift the arms up and out. When we think about lifting and reaching for something, right? Like out of a cupboard, we don't pull the arm back to try to reach it, right? We're reaching up and out. So we're going to do that with our Urdhva Hastasana. Allow the shoulders to come up and out. Exhale, palms touch, hands to heart center, gaze down to your fingertips, close the eyes. We're going to take a moment here and our intention today is going to be gratitude. Offering gratitude for everything that came to the surface within this challenge. And most importantly, 
our connection into our roots and the shadows so that we could grow into our highest, tallest, brightest selves yet. Omi, as you worked through and you have found your way with only more good things to come. So let's take a moment to connect with breath and gratitude. Exhale out all of your air. <sighs> Inhale into the belly. Big exhale, let it out. <sighs> Again, in through the nose. Audible exhale. <sighs> Slowly begin to open the eyes. I'm totally starting to cry. Anybody else? <laughs> Slowly open the eyes. Release your hands by your side. We're not editing that out, by the way. That's just gonna roll. We're gonna inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. I'm serious. There are like tears that are like gathering in my eyeballs. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna come up to the tippy toes. Y'all are like, she's lost it. She's filmed too much. No, I haven't. All right, reach the fingertips up. Remember, shoulders up and out. Tippy toes, press them down. Pull the belly in. Take an inhale. Feel the strength. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. First chaturanga, exhale. Plant your hands, move through. Remember, you have your option of your cat and your cow. Press back to down dog. Again, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Flat back this time we rise. Urdhva Hastasana, arms reach up and out. Now come up onto your tippy toes. Pull the belly in strong as you do this. The stronger you engage with the belly and the higher you reach up, the more stability you're gonna have. One more breath. Exhale, forward fold. Lower to your heels for that <laughs> halfway lift. Vinyasa your way. We will meet in down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Flat back, Urdhva Hastasana, arms up. Once you reach the top, tippy toes. Pull the belly strong. Root down, rise up. Five, four, three, two, one, forward fold, heels down. Halfway lift, inhale. Vinyasa, exhale. Okay, we're gonna inhale, look to the top. Exhale, back up. Big toes to touch. Halfway lift. Fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Arms sweep up. Belly is in strong. Weight comes into the heels and then into the toes. And then up onto the toes. Lift up. And we pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, come up into your crescent pose. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Find stability. Slight bend in the back knee if you need to. Okay, make sure that the right knee isn't collapsing in, that it's nice and straight. Arms are to the sky, take an inhale. We're gonna exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale to lengthen through the heart. Now we're gonna exhale, twist over to the right, extend your arms out. Bend deeper into the front knee, inhale, exhale. Inhale back to center. Now interlace your hands, rather grab for opposite elbows behind the back. 
Step your left foot in, getting set for our pyramid pose. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Now we're gonna exhale, heart comes forward. Okay, so we did pyramid pose in our rooting series and also in our throat series and also in our crown and third eye series. So notice we really do connect to all the chakras no matter what we're doing, okay, but we're not folding forward all the way like we do for the throat. Now we're gonna inhale to come up, arms sweep up. We're gonna exhale, release it down, move through your vinyasa. Left leg to the sky, breathe in. High lunge, breathe out. Inhale, rise, crescent. Belly strong, alignment strong. Slight bend in the back knee if you need it. Squeeze the inner thighs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach to the crown of the head. We're gonna exhale, twist over to the left. Now inhale, open the arms, stretch it out. Bend deeper into your front knee. Inhale, come back through center, keep the arms wide. Exhale, hands behind, grab for opposite elbows. Step the back foot in, lengthen. Front leg is straight. You're gonna exhale, fold into our pyramid. Okay, so the first round is a little tricky because we're figuring out where to go. It's not the smoothest transition, but I did it on purpose. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Draw the chin in. Slight bend in your front leg if you need it. We're gonna inhale, come up, arms up. Exhale, release it down, vinyasa. Okay, this will flow a little bit easier through round two and three. Let's do it. Inhale, look forward. You didn't make it this far for nothing. Exhale, step or hop to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in, fold, breathe out. Chair pose, arms up, come up onto the tippy toes. And we pulse, five, four, three, two, one. Forward fold, half lift, flat back here, chaturanga. Remember to only lower halfway down, check your chaturanga in your mirror if you need to. Up dog, breathe in. Shoulders are gonna stay forward. Exhale, down dog. Right leg, take it up, breathe in. High lunge, breathe out. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, cactus. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open and expand the arms. Inhale, come back through center, wide arms. Exhale, grab onto opposite elbows. Inhale, straighten the front leg, shorten the stance. See how much easier that float? Exhale, fold halfway. Slight bend in the knee if you need to. Draw the right hip back, left hip forward. Belly strong, flat back. Three, two, one. Come up, arms up. Exhale, vinyasa. Left leg to the sky, take it up. High lunge, step it forward. Crescent pose, come up. Cactus, breathe out. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, expand the arms. Now we're gonna exhale, come back forward. Inhale, exhale, grab onto opposite elbows. Inhale, straighten the front leg, shorten the stance. Exhale, fold halfway. Breathe. Slightly draw the chin towards the chest. Slight bend in the front knee if you need it. Belly strong, three, two, one. Come up, inhale. Vinyasa, exhale. Good news, yogis. We've got one more time of that. <laughs> you warmed up yet? Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. 
Utkatasana, chair pose. Last of this challenge. <laughs> Exhale up onto the tippy toes and we pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Forward fold. Half lift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Right leg, take it up. High lunge, step it forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lengthen the heart. Exhale, open twist, expand the arms. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, grab onto opposite elbows behind you. Step the back foot in, straighten the front leg, and we fold as we exhale. Draw the crown of the head, chin towards chest. Three, two, one. Rise, arms up. Release, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Left leg, take it up. High lunge, step it forward. Inhale, come up, crescent. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, open, expand the arms. Inhale, back to center. Hands grasp opposite elbows, pyramid legs. Inhale, exhale, fold. Chin slightly towards chest. Three, two, one. Slowly rise. Arms up. Exhale, release down. Breathe and move to down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward, have a seat. Okay. All right. We got some time left. We're gonna make a count. <laughs> no breaks today. We're going to grab our block. I did my best to grab all of the most loved core sections. Block to the top of your mat. I heard you, you grunted. <laughs> Stand up. Look at how strong you are, okay? Not for comparison purposes, for awareness. Think back to the first week of this. You feel different, don't you? If not, guess what? Repeat the whole month. <laughs> Just kidding. You're gonna take your heels in, toes out. We're gonna inhale, extend the arms forward. Block is on the ground for now. Now we're gonna exhale, come into our yoga squat. Remember, we don't wanna sink all the way into this. We wanna stay lifted. If this is not accessible for you, don't push it. You can sit in your seated happy baby, okay? Otherwise, grab your block, bring it forward, take an inhale, exhale, walk to the back of your mat. Walk down, halfway lift, feet stay where they are. Exhale, come back into your squat. Inhale, take the block forward. Exhale, but just breathe, walk to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out one more time. My legs are saying what as well. Extend the block forward. We're gonna walk to the back. The more you stay lifted, the easier this is. And I don't mean just standing up. <laughs> Halfway lift. Exhale, squat. Good news. One more time. Make it back to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Have a seat. Exhale. <laughs> we're gonna find our boat and then we're gonna come on our backs. I was gonna do the other one first and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give us a little break. <laughs> so yes, boat is a break. Extend your arms forward. Hands behind the thighs here if you need to. Slipped or bulging discs. You're going to 
Stay here, otherwise we lean back. Yep, mom is out of breath. <laughs> Extend the arms, lift the legs, we hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop the feet, open the knees, inhale, heart through, gaze up. Exhale, round chin to chest. We're gonna inhale to come up. The good news actually is that we're kind of out of time. That's all the core work we're gonna do. You're welcome. We were gonna do our ladder walk, but the clock does not allow. All right, let's find our way into a lazy up dog. So you can take a chaturanga if you want to. And then from your regular up dog, Drop to your knees. Okay. Lengthen the heart forward. We're gonna exhale, look over the right shoulder, lift the right knee. Okay, we're gonna inhale, come back through center. We're gonna exhale, look over to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, down dog. Listen to the breath. Okay, we're gonna inhale, right leg up. We're gonna exhale, coming into our half pigeon. Right knee outside of the right wrist. If you need to thread the needle, you're on your back and your right ankle crosses over your left thigh like a figure four. Well, it is a figure four. <laughs> like our figure four chair. Okay, lengthen the heart and then we're gonna exhale to fold. Squeeze the inner thighs. You can melt your heart all the way down if you wish. You can stay as you are. And we're gonna inhale, walk the hands back, lift the heart, lift the chest. We're gonna exhale, make our way into our downward facing dog. Pedal it out from here. Back to stillness, left leg to the sky, breathe in. We're gonna exhale into our half pigeon. And of course, if you're on your back, you're just gonna switch the legs. Lift the heart, lift the chest, breathe in. We're gonna exhale, fold. Draw the left hip back, right hip forward, and melt as far as you want to in this. Or stay as lifted as you want to in this. We're gonna maybe reluctantly walk the hands back, lift the heart, lift the chest. We're gonna exhale back to our downward facing dog. Okay, we're gonna inhale to look forward, exhale, step forward, have a seat. Go ahead and lay down all the way on your back. And once you get there, draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Flex the feet here, press the tailbone to the floor. Go ahead and take your arms out to a T. This time we're gonna cross the legs, gentle cross, although you can go for an eagle bind if you want. Just a gentle cross. Drop the left toes to the floor, scoot the hips over to the right, drop the knees to the left. That was a pretty warming flow that we did. But if it doesn't feel good to go deeper in the twist, don't do it, back out. Inhale, come back through center. You're gonna unwind the legs, draw the knees to the chest and switch. Cross your left leg over the right. Now you're gonna drop the right toes to the floor, scoot the hips over to the left, and drop the knees to the right, look left. Okay, 
And we're gonna inhale, come back through center, draw the knees in, draw the forehead into the knees. And we're gonna take a very simple Shavasana. Palms fall down by your sides, feet fall out, let them take out all the way to the outer edge of the mat and surrender. Before we move to end class, let's take another moment to offer gratitude for our practice. Gratitude for this space. Gratitude for the 30 days that we, well, 29 days that we have had to spend together out of this 30-day challenge. And slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, or your wrists your ankles. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead, point the toes forward. Then exhale, draw your knees to your chest, roll to your left side, our receiving side, allowing us to receive every part of this practice thus far. And when you're ready, press yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat. Once there, gently take your hands to your heart center, gaze down to the fingertips, close the eyes. It's from the bottom of my heart to yours that I thank you for allowing me to be your guide. Hands to our lips, may our words always be kind and true to others, most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, center of our intuition and divine light. The highest in me honors and recognizes the highest in you. And together in this place and in this space, we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of you. Namaste.